Hi there and welcome back to the Dreamkeeper channel. So this talk's going to be about like the Great Pyramid, eh, Metatron's Cube and the Twelve Dimensions. So I don't know about anybody else but the, the pyramids have always fascinated me since I was young. Just so much mystery and unknown. I suppose you could say it's all been figured out. I'm just, I'm not sure I believe that. I don't believe there were tombs. There was never a mummy found in it or anything like that. And uh, Even the size of the, the stones and stuff. How did, how did they build them? It's so precise. It's all aligned. It's basically in the middle of the earth for some as well. So uh, it's just, it's, to me it's still a mystery. So... Basically, uh, <clears throat> like what I believe is the the pyramids, like all over the world, because there's there's pyramids all over the world. So I believe that they're like uh, energy, like resonators, or or like the focus the Earth's energy. So, uh, like if they were rebuilt and they were all capped off with gold, the gold capstones, like rebuilt how they were supposed to be. And uh, I don't know if you ever seen, like, I think it's on, like, eight ancient aliens you see all the time. It's like the the picture, the like, the video of the globe, and it's got all the kind of energy points, like uh, the Great Pyramid and Stonehenge and Easter Island and uh, all these kind of places. Uh, so I, I think, uh, and there's obviously all the pyramids as well, I reckon if you rebuilt all these places, I reckon they're all built to focus the Earth's energy. And I reckon if, if they were all built and working how they were supposed to work, they would focus all the Earth's energy into like the the like the magnetosphere or the ionosphere. And what it would do is it would it would bring the, it would raise the frequency up of the Earth and everybody on it. And I believe that would probably open everybody's like third eye, like your penile gland. And then I believe you'd be able to see all 12 dimensions. Uh, and that that's where Metatron's cube comes into it. So the black cube is another ancient kind of symbol that appears throughout different places and different cultures. Uh, I think there's even a, like a, a black hexagon or hexagram and on the North Pole is Saturn and like the hexagram or hexagon basically symbolizes a cube uh, and apparently the ancients knew about it uh, but uh, even the, the like if you imagine like you've got the black cube in Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia uh, that Muslims and, and that they, they walk around it and it almost like a spiral, like what the universe does. And then even if, if you go to like the, uh, like there's a, uh, like the Israeli flag, like the Star of David, it's got like a hexagon or hexagram in the middle of that. It symbolizes like a cube as well. It has got the like triangles coming out for it, like the pyramids. So it's basically to me, like the, the black cube is the, the, the 12 dimensions, so there's like 12, like, uh, if you imagine a cube, it's got like four, four kind of sides, and then it would be three on another, and three on another, and three on another, and if you add it up, it's like 12, so I believe that symbolizes the 12 dimensions. And then with the pyramids, they would focus all the energy into the black cube, and then that would raise all the frequency uh, so everybody can see. Because, uh, like, there's, I was speaking to somebody as well, and they were saying that, uh, like, they, they don't know if, if we were cut off for the other 11 dimensions and we were put here to, to kind of learn and uh, to, like, find out who we, were, who we are. And then, like, once you die, if you've figured out, 
who you are or who you're meant to be, then you can return to whatever dimension you are from, kind of thing. Uh, so it's, it's just really interesting and to me as well, I, I believe that uh, like the pyramids were built long before what's accepted, kind of thing. I believe there was a civilization before our, our, like ours and then like some happened where it be like deliberate for the other 11 dimensions, deliberately destroying the pyramids and the grid that let all the 12 dimensions connect or there was just like a catastrophe or whatever, the flood or an asteroid or that's destroyed all the, the, the energy like um, focusers or whatever and uh, like we've lost that kind of technology and but, but then we've 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 started and we've went down a completely different technological branch kind of thing so we're, we're like silicon based and computers and digital whereas that other branch they would have went down that would have been like universal and like uh, like the uh, frequency and stuff to, like today with the universe and the earth and the, the energy the earth has on its own kind of thing rather than burning like coal and oil they were focusing and harnessing the actual energy from the earth and the universe kind of thing so to me it's quite an interesting theory and you could even say it relates to like Nikola Tesla too because like he was on about the pyramids and stuff and that would create like a worldwide energy grid and it would be like wireless energy and stuff uh, so there is, there's lots of different ways you can look at it, but for me, basically, the, the black cube, Metatron's cube, symbolises the 12 dimensions, uh, and hits in the centre, and then if we build the different, like, pyramids or energy points around about it, that would focus the Earth's energy, or the universe's energy, or whatever, but probably the Earth's energy into the cube, and it would allow all us to see the other 12 dimensions and rediscover who we are and where we came from and stuff. And I believe that's what aliens are as well. I don't believe aliens are aliens as such. I believe they're just for like different dimensions and that's how sometimes we see them because they're coming in and out of dimensions because they still, like they're still on a higher frequency. So they have the kind of powers if you want. They come and go through through the different dimensions so and it, it, even if you look at backs like religion and history and mythology it does all seem to tie in you, like doesn't matter what religion or, or whatever or even the cultures or different cultures fall over the earth like uh, apparently weren't they connected but they all had the same stories and uh, it's just to me it's really interesting and uh, it's, it's just a good topic you could dive into and like, go into for hours and hours and hours and maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but it's, it would be good to uh, spark up a discussion and talk about it because there is, there's, there's been experiments done and I think even energy, like, uh, like measured, like coming out the top of pyramid structures and stuff because cause just because of the shape, it does focus energy. And just the way they were built as well, with the water, there was like a stream or water running underneath them. Then you've got the, like the king and the queen's chamber and stuff. And you've got the, the kind of uh, holes that, that go right through them and stuff. So to me, they're, they're more like a machine than they are like a, a tomb kind of thing. I think there's more to it. And when you look at it with the, like for what I'm saying with Metatron's cube, the black cube and the, the 12 dimensions and frequency and the earth and energy and stuff. To me, it's, it seems like a real interesting theory and uh, I'd be interested to know if uh, any of you agree with me, disagree with me, if you have your own like theories or if you just think there were tombs and, and there was no civilization before us or anything like that. and. Uh, and it, just just in general, I think it's just a cool subject just to, to talk about and stuff. So if you're interested, just uh, get in touch in the comments and we can maybe spark up a discussion and, and see what everybody thinks in that. But for me, that's what they are. They're, 
not just the pyramids, but you like Stonehenge and stuff, and <clears throat> there's there's all seem to be in these like long ley lines or energy points in the earth, and I think that's what we've lost that technology to harness and focus the earth's energy from the the core of the earth and harness it and focus it out into the the magnetosphere or ionosphere or whatever or the universe and then raise everybody's frequency including the earth and free energy and all that kind of thing it sounds quite wild (laughs) i agree but it's it's also to me quite plausible so i'd just be interested to see what everybody thinks and if you agree or whatever so uh, like I say, if you're interested, just get in touch in the comments. And again, uh, cheers and thanks, and I'll see you soon.